Salt and pepper, that's what I have right there. Himalayan pink salt is my preference. You see, I, I like Trader Joe's for everything. Do that. And then, once you get that going, you can pour all the lemon over, all that juice, all that. All right, guys, there I am, getting ready to make the ceviche right now. Got the red onion right here. I'm a bag of limes. Salt, pepper, lemon, a squeezer. Got cilantro, bell peppers, and tomatoes. Right here, we got some, uh, let's see if you guys see that. 
We got some nice, nice monkey face eel. Some uh, rockfish. Rockfish here. See that? Some nice rockfish. And some uh, rubber lip perch as well. We're gonna combine all three. See if we can make us a good ceviche. Let's see. Let's get to it. All right. Let's do the. Uh, see if we can get our bell peppers going first. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. Crack that guy open. Quick fact, just in case you guys didn't know, put those back together. The ones, uh, bell pepper, they have three butts on them. One, two, three. Are the males. And the bell pepper that has four, one, two, three, four, are the females. Okay? Alright. Let's get it going. Get these cut up. I like a lot of bell pepper in my ceviche, tomatoes, onions, stuff like that. But you know, you can use anything you want to. You know, some people make the ceviche without bell pepper. You know, you can just use tomatoes, onion, and, and cilantro. That's pretty much all you really need. But bell pepper adds a nice little flavor to it. <laughs> all right. How's it going? Cut up any little fine pieces. I don't know how you like it. it doesn't really matter. Oop, yeah, I'm striking. Right. I know it is. I'm trying to keep hitting in the way over here, but there we go. All that. This whole area is clean, so I'm not worried about it. dropping a little bit right there. All right. There we go. That's looking nice. Get my red onion going. Just cut off top. I use a whole onion. Bottom. Pull that off. Take off that first top layer. Don't waste too much onion. And the crying begins. Do you guys cry also when you saw? Woo! It's getting in my eyes. This is nice. I like when they're real potent like that. I mean, it's really good. Open up your pores, tear glands, or whatever. Look, I'm, I'm just trying to sound like I know. What I'm All right, I go in there. All right, get the tomato going. Alright guys, I edit that out. Get that out. Alright, got that chopped up now. Almost put the lid on top right there. Wow. Alright. Tomato in there. Alright. Get our cilantro. Cilantro going. For me, I like to like this kind of wrap it, kind of ball it up. So I get some good slices out of it. So about right there on the stem. A little bit of stem is good. Okay. Now, let's do that rockfish first. I like to do a little, little cues. Got a little pin bone in there, so 
if I can cut around that. There, make sure we don't eat any bone. Seen already, I like to line everything up so I can just make nice quick cuts across that. Okay. And what I end up doing is I set my strainer right there and just drop them in there like that. Okay. Have all the dropped in there. And go back over another perch. Got a little pin bone right there. So I like to make sure I feel where it's at so I don't take too much meat. Okay. There we go. Come on the other side of it. Alright. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Put everything back in here. Alright guys, I'm gonna flash to this and then I'm gonna cover it in like lemon juice once I get it. Okay. So I usually do about five seconds in here. should look okay yeah so you get it and then turn off your heat of course and do a quick few seconds in the, in the freezer all right so now I'm gonna take a few seconds in the freezer but that's how it'll look right there a few seconds in the freezer to stop the cooking process two well older lines in there I still want to use one of them Juice in here, so we can get some of that juice. Okay. You want to kind of cover them, you know, with as much juice as possible. So just place a lid over it like that. 
Right here, I want these kind of cold. Stops like any bruising or anything like that. And then, hey, place it in the fridge. 30 minutes, we'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back right now. This ceviche had time to simmer and everything. Look at that. Now it's all white, pure white. Remember, this is monkey face eel, rubber lip perch, and rockfish. Looks really good. We got our cilantro, red onions, tomatoes, and bell pepper. It's colorful. Like a Christmas tree or something like that to decorate it. So you just stir that up like that. You can add some salt and pepper, add your salt and pepper. That's what I have right there. Himalayan pink salt is my preference. You see, I, I like Trader Joe's for everything. Do that. And then, once you get that going, you can pour all the lemon over, all that juice, all that lime juice in there. And then just kind of let everything else go in there. There you go. Scoop everything out. 